in this video, I'm going to teach you a question in mechanical properties of matter. I hope you enjoy this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Our question is, a tank filled with water 2 meter deep at the bottom of one side wall is a rectangular arch 1 meter high and 2 meter wide which is inched at the top of the arch. Determine the force the water exerts on the arch. So the first thing that we are going to do is to collect the data that we have. So the data that we have, our depth of water is equal to 2 meters, height of the arch is equal to, okay, the height of the arch is equal to 1 meter, okay? So the depth of the water is 2 meters and the height of the arch is equal to 1 meter. Then the width, so I've been given the width, we've been given the width of the arch, which is equal to 2 meters, okay? 2 meters. Then the density, the density of water, okay? The density of water. We know very well that it's 1,000 1, kg per meter cubed or 1 grams per centimeter cubed, okay? Now, we've been told to calculate the force the water exerts on the arch. So, we don't have that. So, what we are looking for, right? So, force, we don't have. So, let's start by drawing a diagram. So the diagram of a tank and the arch, the arch. So this is the arch. Okay. So now let's include the data that we have. We have got the height, okay, of the arch. And then, okay, so that's a level of water in the tank. That's a maximum level of water in the tank. Right, just change the colors. Okay, so there. And then from the arch to the bottom of the tank, that's a distance or the height. So I'm going to call this distance the H or change in H, then that one H, this one D minus H. Okay, so D minus H, D H, H. So we know very well that area is equal to width times length for the rectangle. So area is equal to, or change in area is equal to width times changing length right or changing height so this is calculus that's da is equal to w dh and then we know that pressure is equal to df over da or changing force over changing the area so when you make da for substitute formula it's going to be df is equal to pressure P times da or change in area. So df is equal to, let me write it well here, P times wdh because we know that da is w times the dh okay just replace that so df is equal to we know that pressure is equal to rho times g times h so replace by that times w times the h because you know pressure is equal to rho or density times gravity times height okay
So when we reach this part, it's one of the most important parts in this question. So um, now we are going out to use integration or calculus. We are going to integrate both sides using calculus. Okay, so force is equal to the integral of the upper limit d and lower limit d minus h of rho times gravity times width times h times z dh. So this is equal to rho times gravity times w or width because these are constants, right? Okay, so they won't change. So with the upper limit of d, lower limit d minus h, h times dh, because in this case, the rho, g, w, they are not changing, they're just constants, okay? But the h and h, they're changing, okay? All right, so this is equal to p, oh, I'm sorry, rho times gravity times width times h squared over 2, okay? So we are only integrating here h dh, okay? So upper limit d, lower limit d minus h is equal to rho or density times gravity times width, okay, open brackets, d squared minus d h, okay, d minus h, all right, d minus h in brackets, squared also over 2, okay? All right, so the upper limit squared minus the lower limit squared over 2, integrating that, okay? So this is equal to density times gravity times width, all right? In brackets to dh, 2dh minus h squared, okay, so over to uh, brackets. So now we've got our final equation. So this is our final equation that we're going to use to solve the equation to find the force what exerts on the arch. So when we reach this part, we're almost done. Just have to replace the values that we have and create the force. So our force is equal, force is equal to 1,000, that's our row, that's our density, 1,000 times the gravitation force, 9.8, I'm just write 9.8, okay, times the height, which is 2 meter, the height of the tank, okay, in brackets, 2, times 2, what, okay, minus, okay, 1 squared, over 2, with brackets, all right, so just have to fill in what we have, the data, just have to fill in the data for each variable, okay, force is equal to, so when you simplify that using the calculator, or even using mental math if you are good at mental math. <laughs> All right. It's going to be equal to 2.94 times 10 to the power 4 Newton, which is equal to 2.20, oh, sorry, 29.4 times 10 to the power 3 Newtons. 10 to the power 3, okay. Newtons. And we know that this is the same as 29. 29.4 kilonewtons. Okay, so we are done now. So this is our final solution for the question. So this is the force that the water was exerting on the arch. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So 
for the next question if you have got a question just email me send an email i will respond to your answer i mean to your question i'll respond as soon as possible just send me the email i'll put an email in the link okay thank you very much for watching the video thank you